Alright. Well, I'm going to try showing you guys how I teach splicing of three strand. Um, uh, electrical tape works. Uh, masking tape works. Uh, I'll tell you what doesn't work. Um, uh, scotch tape, or at least I've never had success with it. So, just a lay, a twist in the direction. Um, I've seen people make fids. They just use them to make little fids out of their, uh, uh, with tape, you could do that. This is pretty loose. You don't really need a fid for this. Um, I got a couple of them here, but they're pretty big ones. So, we'll see. I haven't had much luck with the uh, live lately. It's uh, been cutting out or weird things. So um, again, I don't know. Without me climbing all the way back up on the bench to see, I don't know if you're even there. I'm hoping you're there. Hoping I'm not doing this and just talking to myself, but wouldn't be anything new. All right, so tape out of the way. So I'll figure out how big I want it to be. If I had like a Sharpie, um, depending on what I'm doing, um, if I'm gonna put a certain size eye in there, right? Remember you're measuring inside to wherever you want your throat to be. Um, I always give myself just a little bit extra. If you're gonna put a thimble in there, you wanna know how big your thimble is. Um, I know a lot of people will tape where they want to put, where they want it to be at or where they um, want their thing to stop at, their line to stop at. I don't do that. Um, it's not the way that I'm practice doing it. Sorry, I hope this is, you can see this. Um, so, um, I guess I just do it by experience. If you do put tape on there to stop it from unlaying, you really need to make sure that you take that tape off before you do any more tucks because um, you'll have a gap in there if you leave it in there after you spliced. So I'm just gonna wing it today um, on my, what I'm gonna lay. You don't need that much. People tend to do a lot. Remember, if this is natural fiber, you only need three tucks, so. I'll switch it around on my right lay line here. Okay, so I'm gonna find out. Let's see, I'll just make a small eye. Okay, nothing that big. So, when I take this three strand, I lay, like to lay them on the two outside ones on the outside and this first one on the middle down the center. So I'm just gonna lift this up Bring my first one against the lay there, all right? You can twist it and make sure. Okay, now, so I've got my first tuck. I didn't pull it tight or anything like that, just left it, okay? The first tuck, so this one is laying right where it needs to go. It needs to go over the one that I just tucked under and under the next. So I lift that up. This is called the marriage. So now I have two tucks. Again, not super tight. I haven't snugged anything down yet. So now I'm looking for this last one. This one gives people a problem sometimes. They don't know where to go with it, okay? And it's gonna go under the strand that doesn't have anything under it. So right here, nothing under this strand right here, okay? So this is gonna go against, the like same type of thing, against the leg, and come out right here, okay? And what I'm looking for is this, uh, right, right here. So now, if you have tape on here, make sure you take it off or you're gonna have a gap. Now I just like to snug and I use my fingers and I grip with my back of my hand and I just continuously snug, right? Until I get it where it's at, okay? That's an eye. That eye right there is good, right? But obviously we're not gonna just leave it with the marriage, right? So the marriage is done. I should have coming out one out here, one out here, and one out here, okay? And you can fiddle with it if you want. Remember when you put any kind of pressure on this or if you pull on this eye, it's going to um, sink in or it's gonna stretch out too if you don't have it super tight. So um, gets wet, things like that, it's gonna, 
expand and then shrink, all right? And so then after that, it's pretty simple. The marriage is the one that gives people a lot of trouble, right? Uh, not super happy with that eye. I mean, it could be a little bit better. It's coming out a little bit, not so it lays completely flat, but then this is an old piece of line too that I found, so it's not completely right out of the box new either. All I'm gonna do now is pick one over under, right? So I'm gonna take and go over this one and under this one, right? And I can twist and print whatever you want to dress it up, okay? Then I'm gonna locate the next one, which is right here. I'm gonna go over that one and under this one. You don't ever go under a loose strand. You only wanna go under strand, twisted strands, okay? So take this last one and say you had a hard time, you couldn't use your fingers. You don't have a wood fit or a marlin spike. You can always use things like Sharpies, pens, made enough fids out of pens because I didn't have a fid or something like that. All right, and just snug it down, make sure it's nice. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go with one more tuck. We could super get into the weeds about this, but I don't see the point of it today. And we'll talk about a taper. So now, nice slice, right? Uh, you could do things, some people like to roll them out or roll them in their hands, roll them under their foot, right, that stuff. It's a good splice. Now, the things that you can do, there's a, a bunch of things you could do. You could seize them, you could cut, leave them, you could cut them off short, you could taper them. Um, tapering's kind of cool, I like that. So when you taper, I'm gonna select this strand and I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm gonna take this strand right here just gonna tuck it one more time, okay? Then this last strand, I'm gonna tuck two more times. So once there, and one more time right there. Okay. Now, if it was, um, if I wanted to cut it off, it would make it more, instead of having one come out on each side, it would just give it kind of a little bit of a taper. And you could also reduce these. Some people will take them as they do individual strands and they'll reduce them down so that there's a, like a, a super nice taper. But if I'm just using this for anything, I'm probably not going to um, worry too much about that. I don't mind looking at the ends. Some people do mind looking at the ends. If you're on my crew, it doesn't matter to me. It's important that you don't cut them off too short. If you cut them off too short, they're gonna suck out. Um, if you cut them a little bit longer than you think you should, and then once you've used it and you've put tension and weight on it, then it'll suck back in a little bit more and it'll start to break or you can um, uh, serve it. Um, you can do a bunch of different things with it. I'll just leave it like that, works fine for me. Um, so not a hard task, um, just simple by the steps, put a nice splice in there for this again, for natural fiber, we're going to do, um, uh, three tucks. Um, you, some people argue about marriage, blah, 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 for the marriage is your first and then that, but it doesn't really matter. Um, well, to me, it doesn't matter, right? As long as you've got your three tucks in there, you're good to go. So um, thanks for watching. Again, I'm continually improving, trying to learn to teach this to you guys in a way that makes sense. Um, if you don't like something about it, of course, you can always tell me um, and I'll consider what you have to say. So, and sorry about the moving of the camera. I can't really do anything like that. I guess I could climb up.